Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Regency Athletic Complex in downtown Denver, Colorado, for an RMAC matchup between the South Dakota Mines Hard Rockers and your MSU Denver Roadrunners. And get the possession straight away for his team. Mayfield's going to get an interception, trying to head it ahead for Gillis, and it hit him in the face. Bridge now trying to control it, and he does. Gillis now, and this one's tapped ahead. Nichols trying to get another head on it, and this is a chance for the Roadrunners, and it is a goal. I believe that is Labertu. Labertu is right there. Nichols got a head on it. He finishes it off. Warland was out of position, and one nil Roadrunners. Live are and brought down here by number seven Kiefer. Kiefer's going to try to get this one ahead, and Russ is going to come up and control it. Nothing too, too much to worry about there. He Vega gets it into Mayfield. Mayfield's going to get this one on net. Sails over and hits the crossbar for Velasquez. And here is Akaka Nichols with a kick right into the hands there of Warland. Mayfield's going to go past. It's going to be Belfridge, and Belfridge gets it through the wall there. Goes through everybody. And Rubel, obviously, this is the game for him to open things up as he gets it left side and just hits the left post there. This. And here's the pass for Belfridge. Belfridge is now to the streaky Vega. Vega gets through the defenders. Vega right side and into the net. Great, great leave there for Belfridge. And Vega says bye-bye defenders. Goes all the way through him and gets it past Warland. And the streak, Hermit, is over. Five, over. five straight games of 1-0 matches has come to an end. Yeah, and we stand up here and we complain about the heat, and the players are down there on the turf where it's even hotter. And here's a Rubla, good left side for Moraschini, and Moraschini will make it 3 0. Danny Arubla there with a good pass. He had that interception there, took it away there from a Hard Rockers defender. And forget the 1 0 streak of five games straight, it's 3 0 now. Warland. It's an opportunity here, and that's going to be a goal. It's not going to be a shutout. That yeah. was number not number nine, Sam Latemp. Cameron Thompson taking this corner with six minutes to go. Thompson with the corner, and it's headed in the back of the net. This one just got really interesting, folks. That is number three, Eric Fenske. An experienced player on this team. Didn't start here tonight, but... And a chance here for the Hard Rockers, and handling it there was Vega. That was a shot from Latemp. And that is it. The Roadrunners take this match. They led 3-0 at halftime. They allowed two second half goals by the Hard Rockers, but they do indeed survive. The streak is over. It is not a 1-0 result. It is 3-2. Oh, sure. It definitely makes us more balanced. Uh, I think we've got a lot of players that uh, are worthy of being able to score goals. You know, we're a talented team attacking-wise. Um, and those guys got that done today, and we expect, uh, you know, maybe 10 different guys this season are going to show up in the scoring charts. Yeah, the difference in the second half, uh, we weren't good enough. You know, I think that's the bottom line. It's uh, really disappointing. Um, we didn't uh, meet the objectives we had for a 90-minute game. We didn't meet the objectives we had for even um, the halftime coming back out. Um, and we need to get back to training because not enough of our training showing up in the game. You know, I'm a firm believer in it uh, in, uh, doesn't matter who, who scores the goals. And, and yeah, as, uh, as much as I'd want our forwards to, to score the goals and, and people who are supposed to score the goals for us, I think it's, uh, it's good to have a distribution, like you say, of uh, people who are scoring goals for us. And as long as it goes in the back of the net for us, I think it's, it's important.